Hello, I thought I'd come back for a moment and I thought I'd make a quick vlog again. And the reason for this vlog, the, the first reason for this vlog is because I wanted to clarify a few things. One, locker rooms, and everyone knows what goes on in locker rooms. Hey, he, my man said, okay, we said that, okay? We said that. Marissa knows that people change in locker rooms, okay? So people change in locker rooms. Yeah, people just change in locker rooms. So that's all I was saying, and that's all we were saying, too. So, uh, okay, so I wanted to clarify that. And I also wanted to say, look how messy my hair is, but I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. I do like this hairdo. And I remember wearing it last year, I think. It was a little different. It was a little different, but it was basically almost, no, it was a little different. And we're just going to leave it at that. And so let me try to get this hair from there. Okay. So, uh, I don't, well, I, I trust Jesus about, uh, about working and all that. I trust him. And I don't want to mention that again. They just forced me to mention it. Oh, I'm in a new room. I'm in the what used to be what used to be my room well at the beginning it was my mother's bedroom when we first moved in here when I was 20 and then it was my grandmother's room and then it was my mother's room again and then it was uh my room and then it was well when it was my first it was when it was my mother's room then it was, then they had a crib in here because the kids were babies. And then it's, uh, and then it was my room. And then it was her ex-roommate's room. And then it was a guest room. And now it is just a storage room for, for right now because we did get rid of the bed. And we have the bed, okay? We have the bed. And I would show you some of the things in this room, but my men don't want me to show anything in this room until it's complete. That's correct. Okay. Marissa is taking her time with every room. Okay. You cannot force her. We're never going to force her. We're not going to force her. I know a lot of you are impatient, but we are not forcing Marissa. Okay, her only job now, well, she has two jobs now, to relax and to take care of her mother. That's it. <clears throat> yes, to relax and take care of my mother. And, oh, and so I think I'm going to cartoon the dogs. <laughs> Can't wait to cartoon them. And there was one where you could put animation on it. So I'll cartoon the dogs and then animate them and, and make a little cartoon with them. And people would love that. And of course, anyone can do that. That is an open idea. Okay, so yes, I'm going to animate the dogs. I'm going to animate the dogs. I, I think I have to... I think I have to get pro for that. I'm not sure, but I'll I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do because I don't want to spend any money, but they have a free three-week trial. So we'll see. We'll see. Because I, you know, right now I can't. <laughs> I can't spend money. So I that is what I want to do, and I should never have announced it because this gives them an opportunity to block it. I need to stop announcing things I want to do. I need to start just showing things I've done. So, hopefully though, I can take the pictures of the dogs and animate them. That would be very nice. That would be very nice. And we are going to try to keep them from blocking her. 
Mm-hmm. So, uh, I, uh, I, there are like, there are about 15 boxes in here with things in them, just things. And it looks so cluttered in here. I just want, I, it's easy enough to fix. I could just move the boxes to uh, the basement or the attic and, uh, then we'd have a lot of free space in here and I can move the twin bed. We have a twin bed. I can move the twin bed into here and uh, this can be a guest room again, you know, with a small twin bed. <clears throat> I think it'll be a guest room again. I think so. And I'm going to leave my mother's artwork up again. You know, I don't want to, and I'm going to leave her curtains up too. I'm going to leave her curtains and her artwork and a dresser that's been in here for, uh, I, my mother had the dresser and then I painted the dresser. It's just been in here since the beginning. For, uh, I think it was in the other room and, uh. And they moved it in here because the other room was my room when we first, when we first moved in. And I think uh, that's around the time I took the dresser from my mother. And, well, she gave it to me and I painted it so I could put it in the other room. And my room at the time was black and white and gray. Black, white, and gray. And people have seen pictures of how beautiful that room was. Thank you. Yes. Uh, you're welcome. So, uh, I'm trying to think of something else to talk. Oh, yeah. So, uh, okay. I'm not going to mention that anymore. My men don't want me to mention anything else about something anymore. So I also want to mention schools and I just want to say, okay, I'm not the one who keeps coming up with one group. I'm trying to think of all groups, everyone, and they keep sticking me with one group. And that's because they are teachers from somewhere you used to work. And they constantly want you to focus on one group to get you in trouble and make you seem racist. Yeah, I mean, please. I love all humanity. Okay, I'm with Jesus and I'm and I don't think Jesus is not going to let them put her in a spell and make her racist again. She's not racist. I'm not. I and I love humanity. I love all humanity. All humanity. So uh, I just wanted to say that and. So I'm not focusing in on any one group. I'm trying to just think of the broad spectrum of every group. Okay, every group. And uh, when I said that uh, high school would be a beacon for people to go to, I mean, every community could use that. It's true. Every community can use a the high school as some place for teenagers to go and spend and hang out, okay? Every community, community, not just one, okay? And Marissa was thinking about every community, okay? Every, not just black community, We're, we'll say it, not just black communities, okay? But white communities, Hispanic communities, Asian communities, inter mixed communities, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay? Any community can use a high school for high for high school students to go and hang out af after school or during the evening. Any community can use that. And we are tired and tired and tired of them throwing, using, not throwing, but using black students against her. 
okay? Because any little thing she does, they use against her. <sighs> so, I'm just thinking in general, not any one community. Yes, in general, not any one community. And I think I'm going to have to clarify that from now on every single time I mention my schools. And it, it's not that big of a, it doesn't matter that much. I will I'll make sure I clarify it. <sighs> there, I'm calm down now. <laughs> I really did get upset. So no, I'm calm now. I'm calm. So I will, I will make sure to mention that it's every community because I really do love humanity, okay? And I think the schools would be good for all humanity. And that's true. The schools are good for all humanity. Everyone would benefit from these schools, not just one group and not one group that would be treated poorly in her schools because no one's going to be treated poorly in her schools. Okay? No one. <clears throat> so, uh, there, let me get the shadow. I don't, what happened? Why did I get a shadow? So, um, so the schools, yeah, so I can't wait, and neither can most of the world, okay? We are telling you, those people who are trying to add more and add more to their schools, okay? You are not going to achieve the perfect balance without Jesus. I'll tell you, okay, um, in many schools, in many schools, uh, people that I, where I have worked, where I have worked, people didn't get along. Okay. And it's not black and white. It's not. <sighs> okay. I'm sorry to get frustrated. I'm sorry. It was everyone. People. Okay. Just people. Every, just think of every ethnicity, every race, every creed. Okay. There were people who didn't get along and <clears throat> in every school, in every school, there were some students, uh, who were treated poorly and, and some teachers who got upset, but see, they were stressed. They were stressed out. Okay. There were, it is so difficult to be a teacher. Okay. And with, and with everyone hanging out with God, with Jesus, okay? With everyone hanging out with Jesus, people's tempers calm down. He helps them. He helps everyone, okay? I'm calm, but you see I lost my temper a couple times, but I calmed right down because Jesus helps her. Okay, Jesus helps her. See? Yeah, I did. I calmed right down. So. <sighs> now I feel great again. Now I feel great again. But, so I, uh, so we are telling you. We are telling you. You're not going to achieve respect for everyone. You're not. And we... We appreciate the fact that you you believe in her school so much that you want to duplicate it. I appreciate it completely. But you can't do it on your own. And the schools are not ready to be created. Okay? I know some of you don't want anything to do with her. You want to take all the glory for yourself. But you can't. Okay? There are too many witnesses who... Who know she is the one who came up with everything so far. And we have a few ideas that we want to change, but just a few. Just a few. <sighs> so. 
see, once again, I'm thinking about uniforms and they put me back with one community. I'm thinking about uni uniforms for every community, for everyone who goes to my school. Okay? Everyone. Everyone. So, now... Jesus loves humanity, okay? Jesus loves humanity. And these schools are for humanity, not just for one group. These schools are for humanity. Everyone. They're for humanity. They're for humanity. And they'll be set up so that, well, there'll be special things for each community. Okay, I'm trying to guide myself away from them. Here, now it's black or white. Now it's white. Okay, how about some other, how about just a mixed group of students? Okay, I'm mixed. So every school will be slightly different only because they were, they'll be targeting They'll be helping students learn about their culture. Okay? Everyone could know, but they'll have special things. Other than that, though, I think you could go from one school to another, and it, it should be kind of seamless. It should be seamless. Okay? It should be seamless. Okay? From one school to another, or to another, or to another. Or to another. It doesn't matter. Okay? It should be seamless. It should be. <clears throat> and there'll be plenty, plenty of classes. Plenty of classes. And you can sit in on classes. I think my men will let me. We're not discussing anything yet. So, <sighs> I, uh... I know, well, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. No one knows for sure. But we are all very confident that these schools will work. And so are most people around the world. <clears throat> I really, you know... I really want to thank, thank Jesus for hanging out with me and allowing me to think about, just think, you know, because I was blocked from thinking. That's true. She's a brilliant thinker, and they blocked her thinking. And I remember the original idea, what I wrote, Schools of the Future World, in the future, schools will look nothing like they do today. Students, students will learn through the energy. I don't remember the rest of it. Everyone knows it. Everyone knows it. And they cannot believe that it is coming true. They can't, but no one can believe it. But she's a mystic. That's why. She's not psychic. She's a mystic. Yeah, I'm not psychic. I don't, like, I can't pick up on things. I can't look at someone and say, well, this, this, and that. I don't. I don't, no. I, ideas in general, things in the future, maybe something here or there. I'm, I'm wrong a lot. I'm wrong a lot. And, uh, and sometimes, and I don't even know. Like, I don't even know if I'm being a mystic or not. If any, well, sometimes I do know, but sometimes I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. That's true. And we aren't allowed to tell her yet. We can't. It's blocked. So she will know when she's being a mystic and when she's not. And she will have a lot more power as a mystic when, when she is free from evil. Yes. Yes, when I'm free from evil. And I hope that happens soon. And I pray that that happens soon. 
So now, uh, what else did I want to say? Uh, anyway, these schools, I just want to reiterate, these schools are for humanity, not just one group. Okay, they're for humanity. Every group, every race, every color, everything, every religion, every ethnicity, every color, creed. I don't even remember all the things they used to say when I was a kid. I don't remember it all, but for everyone, every religion, every, everyone, okay? They're for everyone. Anyone who wants to attend the schools, and just about everyone does, but people of different religions have a big problem with the fact that they're so Jesus-centered. That's not going to change. No, it isn't. That will never change. And we want people to hang out with Jesus before they go to her schools. So we're now we're keeping people out. We are going to have to. We are going to have to do that. Okay? Because we don't want to ruin the integrity of the schools and the respect that everyone will have for one another. Okay? So, you have to hang out with Jesus if you want to go to her schools. I'm sorry, parents, and I'm sorry, students. That has to be the case. And we will know. You, you can't lie to us. We will know who's hanging out with Jesus. And don't worry if, don't worry about, don't worry about if you still have a temper. Don't worry about anything because Jesus will cleanse that all out of you. Okay? Jesus loves everyone. Jesus, see, Jesus is cleansing me. Again, you know, after the spell. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then I was fine, and then I put another spell, but I'm getting cleansed again. Okay, cleansed and cleansed and cleansed again. No more bad moods. Well, I still get into bad moods, but not that much. Not that much. And I pray. When I pray, now it's a lot easier. It is a lot easier for me to pray for patience and then just it'll go away and I'll be I'll be patient again because sometimes it's difficult to take care of my mother. Sometimes it is difficult. Okay? We don't share the details. Okay? And you don't need to know the details, but sometimes it is very difficult for her to take care of her mother. Yes, but I wouldn't have it any other way. That's right. She wouldn't have it any other way. I love my mother completely, and I cannot wait to, do, to make the fashion show whenever that will happen because I don't know how to mix music into it. I don't know how to... I don't know how to put the component, components in it, and I'm not going to say it's a fashion show, okay? I'm just not because fashion shows are set, and they have their own way of doing things. So this is just showing off some of her fashion. I need to respect the, um, the, the fashion world. I have to respect fashion designers and the fashion world. Okay? They were very, very hurt and upset when I was designing clothes. And, you know, I just, I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry. I just, no one told me. No one could tell you. <clears throat> so now, it's not. It's not going to be a fashion show. It will just be just, just some shots of her mother in different outfits. But the music, if you can figure out, well, we'll try to help you figure out how to put the music in. Yes. <laughs> and I just, like I said, just five different looks. Just five different looks. Or five different outfits, because it's not different looks. She has a look, 
she had a look, and now I'm giving her a look back. And people have seen how you've been dressing her, and they love her fashion sense. That was all her stuff. That she's, People know she's what. Okay, we don't interrupt her. That's all her stuff. And people know that's her. That that's her. Those are her clothes. We have not shown pictures from the past. We're not going to do that to your mother. But they see the clothes, and they see she really did have fashion sense. Mm -hmm. And I wrote, "Where's your fashion at?" And people attack me for that, and people know all about that. And now they understand. Where is your fashion at? And I'm so sorry, but at the time, in my 30s, things were so miserable and so difficult. Fashion and interior design were the only things that held me together. And I'm very sorry, but <clears throat> in my 30s, it was so difficult. It was so difficult and so painful and so miserable that fashion and interior design were about the only things that held me together on a daily basis because I really didn't turn to Jesus that much. I mean, I did every once in a while ask for help with a day, and that's about that's about all I could do. So, And fashion is extremely important, okay? I know the United States and a lot of places around the world have been, have been worked, okay, have been put in spells to believe that fashion is not that important. But it is. It's very important, okay? It does hold people together, especially especially during hard times. It holds people together. And the fashions of each season are very important. Okay, fashions of each year, extremely important. Extremely, extremely important to the time. Okay. Well, I don't know what's going on with my phone. It's dark now. So, on that note, I am going to end this vlog, and I'm going to say I hope everybody watching has a great day today and things go your way. All right, bye.